Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'm here with a page out of my Smashbook. It seems like forever since I've worked out of my Smashbook, and I absolutely love working out of my Smashbook. I get so much enjoyment out of it. I'm using a Close to My Heart Smashbook that I got from Craftin' and Stampin' quite a while ago, and I knew that I wanted to use a craft page out of it, so I chose one in the back. And here I'm just showing you that I did pre-cut some file tabs and a few journaling cards and a border strip from my Cameo. And I also used a few Allie Edwards stamps. I wasn't quite sure out of that what I would use, but I went ahead and cut them out ahead of time. This I'm using is by Craftsmith. It's called Blush Glam and I got it from Michaels. It's an absolutely gorgeous paper pad. So I'm just kind of pulling out all my scraps here and setting those aside. That way I can dig through them and decide what I'm going to use. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with this page, except I knew one of the, the papers that I wanted to use, which I'll show you here in just a moment. I had a little glue on the front of my photo, so I'm just using a glue adhesive remover to try and get some of that off. And now I'm just backing my photo with some white cardstock. So here's the piece of paper that I knew that I wanted to use. It's probably my favorite from the collection. I'm not really measuring, I'm just marking it with a pencil and cutting it down. In the end, this page was a this piece of paper, I should say, was a little bit too bright for me. So I do add vellum to the top of it to soften it. I was looking to, to do a very soft page, and I was really happy with how that turned out. So now I decided I wanted a piece of pattern paper in between my photo and that chevron piece, but I did want that chevron piece to show at the top and the bottom. So I just cut a little bit off of it and that way I could move it down and have it show. I love this gold striped paper. So I cut off a piece to go behind my photo. And now this little border was also cut from the Cameo using the same paper collection. So I'm just tucking things underneath and just trying to decide where I want the placement to be. This trim is from Hobby Lobby. It's my favorite trim. And again, it's very soft, so I wanted to add that to the page. And instead of putting the entire thing behind the photo and wasting it and making it bulky, I just cut it in half. I can use that other piece for something else in the future. So here is the vellum. I'm using vellum from the Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby's brand. And I'm just cutting it to go over both those pieces. I do end up to this bottom strip, I end up adding my adhesive where it will not show once it's tucked under the photo. But for the top piece, I wasn't thinking and just added it to the top, which it will show if I left it like that. So I just ripped it off, it's pretty thick vellum, and then added the adhesive towards the bottom where it won't show once it's tucked behind the photo. So now I'm pretty happy where everything is, so I'm going to start adhering it down at least most of my layers down. And after adding this file tab, I just cut off the excess that is sticking out the side. I'd like to take a moment and say thank you to all my new subscribers and all my loyal subscribers that have been with me for quite a while. I used to go out of my way and every time I got a new subscriber, I would go out of my way and personally thank every single person for subscribing to me. But I recently found out that most of them are just going to spam folders. If you leave more than a couple comments in a row um, on YouTube, they see it as spam. So unfortunately I stopped doing that because no one's even getting my messages. But I, I, like I said, I used to go and personally thank everybody. So I just want to really say thank you and I'm really grateful for you choosing to follow me. Here I'm using an EK Success Punch. It's an old punch that, that I pulled out of my stash. I love using up my supplies. This one's a notebook punch. So I will just tuck that behind one of the layers. I'm just adding a little bit of glue to make sure it's adhered well. And now I was pretty happy with all of that, so I added my double-sided tape to the entire back of my 
piece and I will adhere that down. This here is some Fabri-Tac from Hobby Lobby and I am just using it to add that piece of trim to the side and it leaves it a little bit bulky on that side so what I choose to do here is add a scrap piece of chipboard to the other side and that way it balances it out a little bit better and then there's not any bulk to my photo. So I'm just using some Scotch Quick Dry to adhere that down. And that happiness label, um, I'm trying to hide that wall space behind the photo or on the photo above my head, but I end up, I wasn't happy with how any of it looks, so I end up just leaving it. That's why I, I set that clock there again. I was trying to hide that big open space in the photo, but it's okay. I left it in the end, like I said. I love Allie Edwards font, so I use that for a lot of journaling on my Smashbook pages and scrapbook pages as well. I'm adhering this floral piece with the gold behind that photo as well. I think that's such a pretty piece. And now I am going to add wet adhesive and also a little bit of hot glue. Since the hot glue is going on the chipboard, it won't affect my picture at all. And that way it adheres down immediately. I don't have to wait for it to dry. I don't have a lot of patience when it comes to that. Here I'm choosing some enamel dots. I went with the Teresa Collins family collection. And the only thing left that I'm doing is adding a gold strip to the top and bottom of my page from the same paper collection as well. And that's all there was to it. I hope you've enjoyed today's Smashbook. And if so, please give me a thumbs up. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my blog spot, all at Corrine's Creations. Thanks so much for watching.